The polls open in just a matter of hours, and a political ad is drawing some last-minute attention. The spot is running only on radio, and it does not target a specific candidate or issue. It criticizes the city of Asheville for being too liberal. News 13's Frank Crocker is live downtown. Frank, who's sponsoring the ad? That's a Buncombe County Republican Party. It has a folksy feel. It is conversational and admittedly conservative. John, I'm so glad you're back. Are you and the family unpacked yet? It's two siblings talking, a sister welcoming her brother home to the mountains. We love it here, but sis, I think things around here have changed. Oh, they've changed all right. I mean, you now have drum circles, topless rallies, and atheist city council members. The one-minute political ad by Buncombe County GOP takes liberal Asheville to task. It criticizes Democrats for taking the city in what it sees as the wrong direction. We don't believe that it, it represents the, the fabric of our community. Communications director Nathan West is part of the last minute push rallying the GOP base to the polls. Organizers believe the anti-Asheville radio spot is meant to do the same thing. We wanted to touch on, on, on the emotions and, and the reality of, of what we deal with every day here in the mountains, the, our mountain values. Paid for by the Buncombe County Republican Party. <laughs> One of Asheville's most liberal leaders, Councilman Cecil Bothwell, obviously finds the political ad amusing. He believes the drum circle is one of the things that makes Asheville so popular. Yes, you do have the right here. And that the topless rally is unfortunate, an annual stunt by an outsider that should be ignored by all. To my knowledge, there is one atheist on city council. And uh, that's me. But religion is where Councilman Bothwell ceases to be amused. That may be scary to Republicans who would like to impose Christianity on America, but uh, I think we not, ought not to do that. I think everybody ought to be free to believe what they want to believe. Frankly, I think Asheville is doing really well, and for the Republicans to try to scare people away from Asheville <laughs> is uh, pretty ludicrous. Nathan West says that ad is supposed to be entertaining. He says if anybody's bothered by it, well, they wouldn't be anybody who'd be voting Republican tomorrow. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Rocker, News 13.